I tell you truly, he said, one of you who sits at the table with me will betray me. Who knows what betray means? Say what it means. Who knows what betray means? It means turning coat on somebody. You're their friend, and then the next thing you know, they're popping you in the nose kind of thing. Betraying you means turning against you, okay? Only Judas knew what Jesus meant. Judas had already secretly agreed to betray Jesus to the Jewish authorities. But the other disciples... They were not aware of what had happened. And Jesus' statement confused them. They were upset. They were fearing that they might betray Jesus in a moment of carelessness or even doubt. Is it I, Lord? They kept asking Jesus. Now, John was sitting right beside Jesus. And Peter reached over and whispered to him, Ask which one of us he means. And John moved very close to Jesus and whispered to him, Lord, who is it? And Jesus answered, It is he whom I give this bread. And he dipped some bread into a sauce and he handed it to Judas. Judas Iscariot. Okay. And then he said, The Son of Man will die as it has been foretold. That means it was in the Old Testament. Isaiah told us all about what was going to happen to Jesus. But it will be terrible for the man who betrays him. It would be better for that man if he had never even been born. Mm. Now, that's pretty bad, folks, okay? Judas met Jesus' eyes and tried to bluff his way out. Surely you don't mean me, he said. But Jesus knew. Go and do what you have to do, he replied. And Judas got up and went out into the night. Now, the other disciples didn't realize what was happening. They knew Judas was in charge of the money. So they thought Jesus had told him to go buy something that they needed. During the meal, Jesus took the bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke the bread up and he gave it to his disciples saying, Take, take this and eat it. It is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And the disciples were puzzled and stared at him. And Jesus then took the wine. And when he had given thanks to God, he poured the wine for the disciples and he said, Drink all of it. This is the cup of the new covenant and my blood which is shed for you. I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine until the day I drink it once again in the kingdom of God. Still, the disciples looked distressed. God's glory will be revealed, Jesus said. My beloved friends, I shall not be with you much longer. He's trying to tell them he's getting ready to die. Okay? So I'm not going to be with you much longer. So I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Lord, where are you going? They kept asking. We will come with you. You cannot come with me now, Jesus answered them. Later, you will follow me. Why can't we come with you now? Peter demanded. I would die for you. This is Peter. Okay, that's talking. And Jesus replied, All of you will desert me and run away. Not just Peter, but all of the eleven are going to abandon him. 
Okay? And Peter, before the rooster crows today, you will say three times that you never knew me. I will never deny knowing you, Peter said, crying and deeply distressed. And Jesus continued to, Jesus continued to comfort his group of special friends. Don't let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, so believe in me also. In my Father's house, there are many rooms. If it wasn't so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will once again... Excuse me. I will come again and take you there, so that where I am, there you may be also. You know where I am going, and you know the way. Thomas said, Lord, we don't know where you're going, so how can we know the way? And Jesus answered, I am the way. I am the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. If you had known me, you would have known the Father. Then Philip said, Lord, show us the Father. Then we will know. These people have been with Jesus for three solid years, and they still don't get it. Okay? And Jesus replied, Philip, I have been with you so long, and yet you still haven't known me? If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. He looked around at their troubled faces. If you love me, obey my words. Put that basket down, Diane. I will ask the Father to send you another comforter. Who will be with who will be able to stay with you forever? I will not leave you like orphans. In other words, he's not going to abandon his disciples. Just because he's dying, he's not going to leave them alone. Okay. I will come to you. Soon the world shall see me no more, but you will see me. And because I live, you will live also. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Jesus don't want us to be afraid. He wants us to have faith in him and be comforted. Okay? 